A few weeks back, local boy made good and my old Almost Live buddy Joel McHale came through town with his new memoir, Thanks for the Money. The University Bookstore event took place in front of a live audience at University Temple and I moderated. It was a ton of fun, as was the interview that we shot just before. Here are some highlights of that interview and our full version is on the Art Zone website. Roll tape. Everybody's rolling? Rolling. Yeah. Three. <laughs> it up. <laughs> oh, this is a church. <laughs> Three, two, welcome. Welcome. To welcome to my living room. Joel McHale. University Methodist Church. Yes, Hi. indeed. So, Joel, you've written a book. Oh, Thanks for the money. That's true. It's very, it's, it's extremely funny. It's it extremely, really is. It is really good. Okay, so Thank I want to talk a little bit about how you wrote the book because you talk about how you um, obviously have dealt with dyslexia. Yes, I have. And you have two guys. Ghostwriters who are actually in the room with us will get a nice shot of them. You're going to get a shot of them? Of course we are. Guys. Of course we are. Brad and Boyd. Whoa, there they are. Um, so tell me about the process of writing the book because it is so your voice. It is, sounds so like you. About Did you so sit with them or what? I am very uh, distractible. Uh, what? And, uh, see? <laughs> and uh, so I, I needed these two guys to help just kind of... Uh, hold me down to get me to do anything because uh, I, re I read about Edgar Allan Poe. That's yes. right. I'm That's comparing a literary myself reference. to him. So what he would do is lock himself in a closet with a candle and papers and a pencil yeah. and then tell his servants, no matter what I tell you, I don't know how many times I fire you or insult you, you cannot let me out of this closet until pages are passed underneath the door. So? And so we, so because there's no way I would have written a word, I would have just started playing video games or found <laughs> something else to do. I, I don't, I would have never completed it. How, I, how, yeah. How long was the process did it take? 11 years. <laughs> well, it's, it was no, a, it, uh, we pitched the book, it was worth it. Uh, this uh, one, uh, we pitched the book 11 months ago. So it was like going to the dentist without anesthetic or clothes on. Painful. Yeah, I mean the and clothes cold. was com yeah, yeah, and you were a little bit yeah. cold. Yeah. So that that was the process, and uh, not it was not necessarily enjoyable. Yeah, it, was the advance that you got for it worth it? I mean, did oh. they they get? Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. It, did that pay for the? You have a, a new pool, but there was no deep end. You say that you needed the money for it to dig a deep end in the pool. Is well, that right? Well, Nancy, I have multiple sources of income. Okay, no. Oh. Um, <laughs> so yes, that money it technically I yes paid paid to dig up the pool that was five feet deep yes. and uh, put in a deep end. Yeah. Uh, so we had to, you have to dig out the whole pool in California. Oh, not you just cannot, part. You cannot just adjust pools. Okay. You have to take out the whole thing. Whole thing out. And then the whole, then you have to have the whole thing surveyed. What I'm saying is, is that I have problems. <laughs> and yes. And I have a lot of and they're burdens third world problems. in my life. Yeah. 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 Um, are you happy with it? Does it? Do you feel like it, it did what you wanted to do? Look, there are so many pages we left on the floor. Is that? Is that right? No. No. This, no. Is, this is. We this barely is a, made it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. We barely made it to the last. The no. Uh, I am very happy with it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if. Ever, What's the response been to, when you're doing readings going mostly around? Mostly when I see people, they stand up and won't stop clapping. <laughs> no. It, it. So far, the response has been good. Uh, the day. The New York Daily News. Um, they they they're like we would like to review it first, and, we're, and the book company was very excited they mm -hmm. were going to review it, and they're like we need to get them this advanced copy because they're going to get this out the weekend before, and then it'll be and they just trashed it. They uh, did. They had they were very Why? confused by the uh, premise. The and tone, like, is it yes, true they or literally false? I have a bunch of fake book covers in there. Yeah, and they decided that one of those fake book covers was kind of the cover of the book. Okay. Which makes no sense. So they didn't look at the cover they, and say that's the cover. It was like someone without a sense of humor reviewed it, which mm. if you don't, you're going to hate this book. Yeah. And it will look like I'm an even bigger jerk than I already am. Right. So the, th the stuff with your dad about his, his legendary cheapness, which is so hilarious. Yes. Um, it, are, the true and false quiz, is that, I mean, those are all true, like when you say that he yes. put your little brother on the lawn with a sign that said 5,000 yeah. bucks or best offer. Yeah. He did that. All true. Okay. Where was your mother at this point? She just kind of like at the store? I mean, how did this even happen? It didn't happen. It's a made up. It, it is made up? Yes. Oh, I thought it was really? You believe that? I totally believed it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I need another drink. My, my no, dad no. is not that awful. I mean, oh. 
He's that is very so, good at getting killed. But you said true, true, true in the in the little. Yeah, we were joking. Oh my gosh, I am man. I am gullible. Oh, okay, man. I get it, I get it, I get it. By the way, you've got a, a brand new show, CBS, That's the great true. indoors, and you're above the fold. You're the you're the big name, Joel McHale in. See, That's a you pre do a little bit of local, you, you work it almost live, and, and this is and what this happens. is where you end up. So I've seen the pilot. You're yeah. laying the premise. It's laying the premise down it is hard, hard, hard. Yes, hard. You, know, you now know the premise, and yep. you know the characters. Yep. So now you've got an a, a, a adventure guy being pulled back in from the great outdoors. Because the magazine is folded into a website, and there's no money. He and it's run stay. by millennials, essentially. Though. Yeah. Excuse me? ID, please. ID? That's cute. <laughs> I'm Jack Gordon. That's my D right there. Jack Gordon, it is so incredible to meet you. I'm Clark, online content curator. Hi, Clark. Obviously made up job title. And you have Stephen Fry, Stephen which is Fry. a real get. Yeah, he? he didn't have to do it. Yeah. The man is going to be knighted. He has um, all the money in the world, and he was just like, I thought it would be fun to do. Jack, I appreciate you're going through a tough transitional time at the moment. Just know deep in your heart that you will get back out there one day. But also know, deep in your head, that that's probably not going to happen. Well, my friend. This is it? This is it, because we're going to talk more out there in the University of Temple on the altar. Are you going to ask me any of the same questions? Uh, not some, not all. Are you going to wear that top? I'm wearing this top. Do you want to touch it? <sighs> all right. It's Ooh. nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's brand new. Where'd you get it? Nordstrom, VSC, my favorite department. VOC? Okay, VSC. Did you get a deal? Thanks. No, I don't get any deals. Thanks for the money. Pick Thanks up the, the book money. and watch Mr. Joel McHale, the great indoor CBS, 8 o'clock. 8.30 30 after. Thursday, the Big Bang Theory. Yes. Thanks, everybody. High five. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Almost did it. Thank you.